Hi everyone, my name is Sibina, faculty of Silver Hills Public School. Today we are discussing about chapter 2 solutions, class 12, colligative properties. So what is meant by a colligative properties? Properties of solution which depend only on the number of solute particles and it is independent on the nature of particles are called colligative properties. I am repeating, it depends only on the number of solute particles and it is independent on the nature of solute particles. And there are four colligative properties and the first one is relative lowering in vapor pressure and the second one is elevation in boiling point and the third one depression in freezing point and the fourth one osmotic pressure. And today we are discussing about the second colligative property that is elevation in boiling point. So before going to elevation in boiling point, we have to know what is meant by a boiling point. So boiling point of a liquid is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of solution becomes equal to the external atmospheric pressure. Boiling point of a liquid is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of solution becomes equal to the external atmospheric pressure. So when we consider a solution, we know that a solution means it contain a non-volatile solute and a solvent. So a vapor pressure of solution contain a non-volatile solute, it is always higher than as compared to a pure solvent. What will be the reason for it? Because when we consider a solution, a solution contain a non-volatile solute. So this non-volatile solute, from the term itself, it is non-volatile, it is not volatile. So it will occupy on the surface of the solution. So what will happen? The rate of evaporation of pure solvent molecule get decreases or the number of molecules in the vapor form get decreases. So what will happen? Rate of evaporation is decreasing means the equilibrium also get disturbed. So more temperature we have to supply in order to attain the equilibrium. That means boiling point of solution will become greater than compared to the pure solvent. Now let us consider elevation in boiling point graph. So when we plot vapor pressure versus temperature, we are getting a curve not a straight line. We know that as temperature increases, vapor pressure solution is also increasing. And the, this graph or this curve that corresponds to the vapor pressure curve for pure solvent. And this is the temperature at which vapor pressure of solution is equal to the external pressure. And that means vapor pressure of solution is equal to 1.013 bar or we can say that it is equal to 1 atmospheric pressure. And this is the point at which the vapor pressure of solution is equal to the atmospheric pressure that is for solution. So the boiling point of pure solvent is called Tb0, 0 always stands for pure state. And this is the temperature that is boiling point of solution. So obviously from the graph itself we can see that boiling point of solution is greater than boiling point of pure solvent or we can say that Tb is greater than Tb0. Tb stands for boiling point of solution and Tb0 stands for boiling point of pure solvent. So Tb is greater than Tb0. So the difference between Tb and Tb0 is called delta Tb. Difference between Tb and Tb0 is called delta Tb. And delta Tb is represent elevation in boiling point. That means by adding a non-volatile solute, how much the boiling point get increased. And it is calculated by the equation delta Tb equal to Tb minus Tb0. Tb stands for boiling point of solution and Tb0 stands for boiling point of pure solvent. So experimentally it is found that the elevation in boiling point that is delta Tb it is directly proportional to the molality of the solution. We know that molality is a method of expressing the concentration of solution. So experimentally found that delta Tb is directly proportional to small m it is molality of solution. 
we can write this proportionality equation like delta T B equal to K B into M, where K B is called molar elevation boiling point constant or it is also called ebullioscopic constant. So, delta T B equal to K B into M, where K B is called molar boiling point elevation constant, it is also called ebullioscopic constant. Now, the next step is how can we define this ebullioscopic constant? If m equal to 1 delta T b equal to K b. So, how can we define? It is the elevation in boiling point for one molar solution or we can say that it is the elevation in boiling point when one mole of solute dissolved in 1000 gram of solution or we can say that it is the elevation in boiling point when 1 mole of solute is dissolved per 1 kilogram of solvent. So, delta T b equal to K b into m and ebullioscopic definition it is the boiling point elevation in boiling point for 1 mole of solution that means a solution containing 1 gram mole of solute dissolved in 1000 gram of solvent. Also we can say that it is the elevation in boiling point for one molar solution. Now, so we discussed what is meant by elevation in boiling point, then we discussed uh, how can we represent elevation in boiling point, after that we discussed how can we determine the elevation in boiling point. So, when we consider all the colligative properties whether it is relative lowering in vapor pressure, elevation in boiling point, depression in freezing point or osmotic pressure, the main application of all colligative property is that we can determine the molar mass of a non volatile solute or we can determine the molecular mass of solute present in the particular solution. So, how can we determine the molar mass of a solute by using elevation in boiling point. So, for that let us consider W gram of solute that is it should be a non volatile solute, it should not be no volatile solute. W B gram of non volatile solute is dissolved in W A grams of solvent and let capital M B be the molar mass of solute. And here you can see that this A always capital A always stands for solvent and capital B always stands for solute. In all the problems related to solutions always it should be like this capital A stands for solvent and capital B stands for solute. So, W B stands for the weight of non volatile solute present in the solution, W A stands for the weight of solvent present in the solution, let M B be the molar mass of solute. Then we know that molality is given by the equation number of moles of solute divided by weight of solvent if it is in gram into 1000 or also we can say that number of moles of solute by weight of solvent in kilograms. Then we already derived this equation delta T B equal to K B into M. So, substitute for M molality delta T B equal to what is the equation for molality number of moles of solute. So, W B by M B given mass by molecular mass. So, W B into 1000 by M B into W A substitute for M B here. So, you will get delta T B equal to K B into W B into 1000 divided by M B into W A delta T B it is elevation in boiling point K B we know that it is the ebullioscopic constant W B weight of solute W A weight of solvent and M B stands for molecular mass of solute. So, if we know delta T B, K B and W B and W A we can directly calculate M B. So, it is a uh, determination of molecular mass is the application of all colligative properties by using relative lowering in vapor pressure, elevation in boiling point, depression in freezing point and by using osmotic pressure also we can calculate the molecular mass of an unknown solute present in the solution. So, 
molar mass of solute is given by the equation mb equal to kb into wb into 1000 divided by delta tb into wa just rearrange the last equation now by using this equation let us can we do a problem ok so here the question is the boiling point of benzene is 353.23 kelvin when 1.8 gram of a non volatile solute when it is dissolved in 90 gram of benzene the boiling point is increased to 354 kelvin 354.11 kelvin calculate the molar mass of solute and in this problem it is given kb4 benzene is 2.53 kelvin kilogram mole inverse so we can check first of all we can check what are the variables given here what is the first sentence boiling point of benzene is 353.23 kelvin so we know that in this problem two benzene solution a non volatile solute is added so benzene is the pure solvent right so boiling point of pure benzene is 353.23 kelvin so we can say that tb0 equal to 353.23 kelvin when 1.8 gram non volatile solute is dissolved in benzene so solute weight is 1.8 gram so we can say that wb equal to 1.8 gram then the boiling point increases to from 353.23 kelvin to 354.11 kelvin so we can say that the change in boiling point of the solution by adding a non volatile solute is from 353.23 kelvin to 354.11 kelvin and also kb it is given so kb 2.53 wb 1.8 gram wa 90 gram and delta tb just uh, the difference between the boiling point of solution and boiling point of pure solvent what is the value we are getting 0 0.88 kelvin so just substitute in the equation mb equal to mb equal to kb into wb into 1000 divided by delta tb into wa substitute for delta tb wb wa so we will get 57.5 gram per mole so molar mass of the given solute non volatile solute in this condition is equal to 57.5 gram per mole in this class we discussed about elevation in boiling point and the graph related to elevation in boiling point how can we determine the molecular mass of a non volatile solute by using elevation in boiling point hope it is clear for you thank you